Hi, this is Katkam Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a model in Plasticity. We will start by creating circles. Choose to draw circles and we will draw a circle from the center. If you have a different command here, press and hold the left mouse button and select that command. Now hover over the origin of the coordinate system. Here the snap of the origin will be highlighted and click the left mouse button. Then to precisely define the diameter of the circle, press the tab key and enter 50 millimeters here. And click enter to confirm. Next, let's choose to draw a circle again. And as you can see, the shortcut for drawing a circle is Shift plus C. Press Shift plus C. This command has been activated. Next, I specify the point where I will place the center of the circle. I press Tab and enter 80 mm as the diameter. Press Enter and OK. Now, I would like to draw circles in such a way that they are offset by a specific value from the origin of the coordinate system. I can do this, for example, by drawing two more circles. One with a diameter of 30 mm and the other with a diameter of 40 mm. Now, holding Shift, I select these two circles and choose the move command. I can also press the G key or I can select this command from this menu. Or we can press F key and search for the move command from the command list. Select that command and now define the offset in the X direction as 80 millimeters. Press enter and once again enter to confirm. Now I would like to get such circles on this side as well and to do that we could use mirroring but I would like to show you another way. In this case I will draw a line that starts here and will be 80 millimeters long. Press tab, enter 80 millimeters and such a line has been drawn. And now I can draw additional circles whose centers will coincide with the end of this line. Here, as you can see, we have active snapping and this is greatly facilitates geometric creation. Now I click here, press tab and enter 30 millimeters, then shift plus C to start drawing a circle. Click here, tab and enter 40 as the diameter. If it turns out that you entered the wrong diameter for the circle or you would like to change the dimension of any circle, we can do this very easily. Select the geometry and press the equal key on the keyboard. Now we can change the dimensions of the geometry. We can also search for this command in the command list, press F key and here type dimension select that command and you can change the dimension of the geometry. This line is no longer needed, so I select that line and press delete to remove it. And now we will create lines that will be tangent to these circles. Select drawing a line. Now as I hover over this circle, we have a snap here. At this moment it is important to click somewhere on the circle and now as I hover the cursor over the second circle I am looking for the tangent snap. And here we have the tangent snap and to apply this snap click here with the left mouse button, right click to confirm it and again select drawing a line, start the line on the first circle and go to the second circle and look for the tangent snap. OK, right click, the line has been created. We will also create such lines from the other side. In this case we will use mirroring. Holding shift I select these two geometries and choose the mirror command. And here as you can see this command has a keyboard shortcut, Alt plus X, 
We can select this command using the keyboard shortcut or just by clicking here. Now specify the direction of the mirroring and click on the Y axis. And the mirroring has been done this way. Right click to accept it and now let's trim the unnecessary parts of the geometry. Select the trim command. Select these geometries and right click to finish that command. Now I will turn off the construction plane and based on this geometry we will create a solid. Select this area and it is important to have face selection turned on. Now I will right click to cancel and simply select only face selection. Press free key on the keyboard and this way you can activate face selection mode. Select this area and we can add an extrusion since the extrusion command is selected by default. And now to specify the specific value of the extrusion Press the D key on the keyboard and enter 10 mm and at this point the extrusion has been performed upward from the sketch plane. If you would like to perform this extrusion in both directions then you can press the tab key. However, at this moment we will perform the extrusion only in one direction by 10 mm. To accept this right click or simply click OK here. And this way we have created such a solid. Now we will move on to adding additional fragments of geometry, but before we do this, let's briefly switch to this part of the window where we have all the geometries we used to create this solid and we can toggle the visibility of these geometries. For now I will turn off the visibility of the solid so that the solid doesn't obscure the view and at this moment these geometries are unnecessary and we can delete them since they are no longer associated with the model in any way. For example, if I change the diameter of this circle to 10 mm, it will have no effect on the model. We can delete these geometries. I select the first geometry, hold the shift key and then select the last geometry and press the delete key. We can also hide these geometries. To hide the selected geometries press the H key on the keyboard and now these geometries are invisible but as I said they are no longer needed so I select all the geometries again and press the delete key on the keyboard. And ok, these geometries are already deleted and now we will proceed to add more fragments to this model. Here I select the edge selection and select this edge. Now I would like to add an offset to this edge. Here the command for adding fillets or rounds has been selected by default, but I don't want to use that. I would like to use a different command that will allow me to obtain another edge that will be offset by a specific value. So I press the F key on the keyboard and type offset. And I select the command that will allow me to get that edge offset. And now I must specify the offset distance. And here as you can see dragging the arrow showed a preview of how it will look. If I want to add a specific offset value, I press the D key, enter minus 5 mm and press enter. Click OK to accept it and we have added the offset of this edge. Now another area has been created here. If I switch to face selection, I can select this area and based on this area I can add an extrusion. Press the D key, enter 5 mm and press enter to confirm. Press enter again and left click to deselect this selection and we have created something like this. Next I switch to edge selection, press 2 on the keyboard and now I select this edge. Here the command for rounding has been selected by default and that is the command I want to use. To add rounding here, we drag this symbol and add rounding here, press the D key, type 6 and press enter. Press enter again and we have added that rounding. Now holding shift, I select these two edges. 
By default, the command for adding routings has been selected and now dragging this symbol, we can add a fillet or chamfer. If you drag one way, a chamfer will be added and if you drag the another way, a fillet will be added. The dimensions of chamfers and fillets can also be specified here and here let's enter minus 2 millimeters and in the other direction also minus 2 millimeters. Now we will add a chamfer on the outer edge and we can select all edges one by one with the shift key pressed. However, in case of multiple edges, there will be a lot of clicking, but we can also press the Alt key, then the whole chain will be selected and we can add a chamfer to the entire outer edge. And OK, we have created such a solid and if you click this button, such a render will be displayed. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.